Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel welcome to you. Just a quick one then, I just wanted to give you um, a peek at that other item that I purchased. Remember a couple of weeks ago I showed you the fox with the rabbit uh, that Sue, um, the felting lady, creates. And this is the other one that I bought. Okay, you ready for this guys? Are you ready for this? I've actually put a little lighting system in this. Um, but look how cute this is. It's a little mouse in an alarm clock. Fast asleep, not to wake him. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so what I've done is I've put a little lighting system on. Look. Oh. She's absolutely brilliant in what she does. And again, I just wanted to put a shout out and I will put her link in the district description box uh, below if you are interested but what a natty idea I absolutely love the alarm clock because obviously we're in an, in an era now where we don't use sort of the old-fashioned alarm clocks and I thought it was just wonderful how she's incorporated that so with all that said and done it's a quick one I didn't want to waffle on let's get into this week's readings I'm now going to read for the lovely star sign of Gemini. So Gemini, let's have a look what's coming out in the cards for you this week. What have we got for the lovely Geminis? Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. And we have Epidote, Go Deeper, coming out with, what else have we got for Gemini? rose tinted ah that's interesting so as soon as i look at those two cards together it's sort of saying to you there's some situation around you there's a person around you gemini where you are not seeing the true clarity the truth that is staring you in the face you have got rose tinted glasses on okay around a situation where it's saying you need to, you're sort of only scratching the surface um, of this issue. And it's as though spirits are trying to tell you to look at something again. Okay? Go deeper. Look at, um, analyse something a little bit more. Don't take something for face value. Okay? Don't be sort of conned into something. You could be buying a, car, a new car and um, the salesman's job is to say oh yeah it's all this it's all under guarantee and what have you but it's like to say go a little bit deeper okay whatever the situation is it's saying take off the rose tinted glasses it could be too good to be true kind of an energy let's have a look what your conscious and your soul spirit is feeling this week what have we got for Gemini? And we've got Magician's Sword. Confidence in your magic. I want to say, there's something that you've been battling. Okay, a situation, what have you. But it's saying you can put down the sword now. There's a completion here. 7 and 3 comes to 10. And there's a completion. And it's sort of saying, have confidence in your own beliefs. Don't budge on something as well. Dig your heels in on a certain situation. Let's have a look what the universe wants to add on to the mix then. What else have we got for Geminis? Gemini! And we've got clarity. This can be coming in at the start of the reading where you've got to go deeper on something take the rose tinted glasses off get clarity on a situation and the universe is coming in with this card to say there is going to be clarification coming in on an issue as well where i said there's been a battle a struggle uh, a fight on your hands okay for a decision to be heard of then you get clarification on a situation let's have a look what your animal spirit card is this week what else have we got for Gemini, please? Well, wow, we've got the starfish. I thought there was two there for a minute, but there is only the one card. Let me just move those out of the way. Something gets uncovered. A truth 
becomes apparent. Where something was hidden, buried, okay, we've got this again with a go deeper. There's something where you've got to dig, okay, um, under the surface too. So this is why the starfish, which is the alchemical sign of water, this is something that is affecting your lifestyle, your current situation, where it's saying to you, you've got to dig a little bit more, okay, to get some clarity on the subject. This week, guys, I've been working with um, some phantom quartz, and quartz is about communication anyway, and I've been picking out um, a couple of male names and a couple of female names. Sometimes I get flashed names come across in this uh, crystal soul. Some people have been having like uh, three names instead of two, all depending on spirit. These names can be significant to people around you now. They can also be significant to people who've passed over. So let's have a look at what we've got coming out for you, Gemini. What names have we got for Gemini? The first name up is Neil, okay? First male name is Neil. Thank you, Spirit. If I can have another name, please. A name for Gemini. I've got the name Samuel as well. That's quite an old-fashioned name, Samuel. Right, let's have a look at the female names. names have we got please for the females I've got the name Sandra thank you and I've got Sally Is there any more spirits that want to bring their names through, please? And I've got Kirsty. Thank you, Kirsty. Being as we've had three females, I'm just going to clear it and just ask if any other males want to come in with their name. I've got the name Richard, okay, Richie, Richard as well. So, as I said, those names could be significant for people around you in your energy fields, or they could be links to those in the spiritual realms. So I just wanted to work on names this week. So, let's have a look what the fairies want to bring into your reading this week. What else have we got for Gemini? And we've got Attitude. Pointing the finger, this could be you pointing the finger at somebody, trying to get a result, answers, or somebody is pointing the finger of blame. I want to say there's like a finger of blame being pointed out here, and that is what the fairies are trying to say. So there's somebody with an attitude. It's either an attitude of somebody showing that around you, or you are having, the fairies are saying, you need to show attitude in order to get answers, okay? So, let's just get your guides, angels and spirit messages. Don't define yourself by your past or even your illness. You're in control of your life. I feel like there's an energy here of wings being clipped. You may not have felt well enough to venture out or go out. Somebody could be trying to clip your wings as well. And it's just basically saying here, remember you're in control of your own life. Don't let others control you. So that is quite a strong message coming through for some of my Geminis. And we'll just get another crystal card. And we've got Aventurine, create your own look. Create your own look. And for you, I'm just going to read what it actually says out the little booklet. 
for a venturine. I haven't had that come out before. So let's just get the full reading on a venturine. It says, luck starts with you. Simply by changing your energy, you have the power to shape your own fate. The first step is to align your thoughts, beliefs and energy with what you want. Once you are fully aligned, you can attract the opportunities you desire to accomplish your goals. Like a magnet, you can set yourself up for the best possible outcome in any situation. Your luck is not a coincidence, it's your own creation. Core questions, do you believe you are lucky? What area of your life could use an infusion of luck? And how can you stay open to opportunities? And crystal action, I am a magnet for good fortune. At the end of the day, identify one lucky thing that happened to you. Oh, that's lovely. So, just to finish this reading off, I'm going to grab in the Inner Light book, uh, the Oracle book, and just see what message we've got coming out for you this week, Gemini. And we have Beloved. Through the magnetism of love, you merge and love becomes an all-embracing thought. A touch, a word, a glance, and love unfolds its wings. Now is a season of love and romance. Two beautiful souls within a diamond heart is discovering the infinite space of each other's soul. I feel the infinite space of my soul and the soul of my beloved. Love is infinite. I am all that I am through love. So, spreading the love around, okay? Love is in the air for some of you. And it can also mean as a beloved, an anniversary of a passing of a memory of somebody in spirit. So my lovely Geminis, I hope you can get something from that reading. Don't forget to check out your moon and rising signs. If you're new guys, any comments, thumbs up, thumbs down, all adds to the uh, YouTube algorithms, okay? So until next time, you take care of you. Bye then.